This sandbox server could potentially hold over 10,000 players. Obviously, it doesn't hold anywhere near that right now because I don't think even a thousand people have access to the game right now. The sandbox dev blog came out the other day and there wasn't anything new in it. If you've been following my videos, you'll know everything that's in here. It did mention one thing that I guess I knew about, but I didn't realize. So this town's game mode uses custom networking for its servers and that opens up the possibility of having tens of thousands of players on the same server. So that's insane. And I've actually been planning on making a server like that. I'm not gonna spoil the details right now, but it's going to be insane. Well, that's the title of the video. Now let's look at the other updates to Sandbox this week. They started working on vehicles again. It's not in-game, but I do have these clips from the devs. Here we can just see the, the car driving around. There's no sounds or anything in this clip. The physics on this vehicle is actually so good. It looks so much better than the old Half-Life 2 vehicles. Here we can see another clip. They're sitting down in this clip and they run into an explosive barrel. So we can see the car actually does damage world object and the player can take damage when they're inside the vehicle. Now, the vehicle isn't actually in the game yet, so we just have those videos for now. There are some other vehicles that were added, but first I'm going to take a quick peek at Construct and see if there were any updates to it. Well, I don't see any major updates. It looks like there's a block here for some reason. And there's barriers on the road, I guess. I know they added this green fence to the bridge here. This is insane. Can you even imagine having a green fence? Well, I sure can because it's right here. Now let's look at the tanks. The tank vehicles. These aren't regular vehicles though, they're for the RTS mode. Oh yeah, they also added a day-night cycle to this map. I guess you can't see it right now, but I'll go into the city and show off the day-night. If you look closely, you can already see the shadows starting to move on the trees. When I get closer to the buildings, it should be more obvious. Looks like the street light's turned on. There's not actually a light on the street light model. Oh, maybe they were turning off. Wow, look at this. So the day night speed is currently set to be very fast for testing purposes. I believe they have windows that light up. What is this? It's like particles here. Okay, that's kind of strange. Okay, so I found some buildings. We can see the sunlight going across the screen, and I believe they added lights in the windows that turn on when it gets dark. I'm going to start building a base so that I can get the tanks out and we can look at those. Oh, it looks like they might have changed the buildings. The previous models were placeholder, but I guess they've replaced it with a different placeholder model. Maybe the other models weren't as flexible as they wanted them to be. So I can unlock machinery now. I think that's different. Can I build my vehicle factory now. I kind of want to see what all these different buildings look like. Oh, I think the research lab might be a new building. This game mode keeps changing every time I look at it. It's crazy. I'm just going to unlock everything real quick. Where do I get a vehicle factory? Here it is. Time to build the tank. I'm very excited. Oh wow, this looks realistic. Tell me what to do. I'm gonna find an enemy unit and shoot it with my tank. Whoa. Got like a weird debug thing going on. Okay, I found the enemy unit. He's just ahead, so I'll fire my tank at him. This is insane. Wow! It's like it's an actual tank shooting. That's realistic. I guess I won the game. I defeated the opponents. That was insane. I believe they also added a ranking system, so the longer your unit survive, and the more kills they get, the more damage they'll do. Obviously, I haven't been able to play a game of this yet, so I don't know how everything works exactly. That's it from Face Punch, but I want to show off Speed Dial real quick. If you didn't see my previous video, I showed off Speed Dial. This is a fully detailed game mode by the Eagle One devs. They're working on a huge full-length Half-Life Alex campaign, and they've made this game mode in Sandbox. The other day, I showed off the bank map because that was the only map available at the time, but they also released this other map, SD Den. So this is SD Den. I'm not entirely sure what it's supposed to be. I guess it's a big machine factory building. Oh, I can see what kind of den it is inside that crate. Huh. It's got rooms in it. Looks like it's a big circle with a death pit in the middle. You can't actually fall down there though. Oh, there's another death of it here. I haven't actually been able to look at this map properly. I played on it for a little bit, but that was in an active deathmatch game with players shooting at me. So it looks pretty cool. 
Now yesterday, I actually made a map for this game mode too. It's called SD Lab. I made this entire map yesterday during a 12 hour live stream. I made a couple changes earlier today, but for the most part, this entire map was made in one gigantic live stream. So this map is meant to be set in a criminal laboratory where they manufacture their products. So we have these Bunsen burners and pipes and a bunch of different rooms to explore. There's a lot of science equipment on the table. I actually made most of the science equipment in Hammer, the level editor. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to make the whole map in just 12 hours, but I think I'll be able to finish it in under 24 hours. I'll make a video explaining my process of making this very soon. Well, that's it for today. I have sandbox tutorials on Monday, other videos on Wednesday, and a news video every Friday. Make sure you leave a like and you're subscribed with notifications on so you don't miss any of them. I'll show off some gameplay from when we were testing this map last night. This is the future of gaming.